Hey guys, today we are talking about easy low carb crock pot recipes for beginners, all while having a whole lot of fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my camper kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com and today we are just going to talk through some easy low carb recipes that you can make in your crock pot if you're a beginner both a beginner at crock potting or a beginner at low carb recipes. Um, a lot of our low carb recipes are really, really simple and also super, super flavorful that even people who aren't eating low carb typically don't even notice that that's what you're doing. So that's kind of our goal, making a meal that can keep you on track, even if your family isn't eating the same way you are. So with that, I'm going to pull this up over here. Um, so I can read off and tell you a little bit about these recipes. Okay, first step, we're going to start with some breakfast recipes. Breakfast is super easy for low carbers because you can have bacon and eggs and a lot of different kinds of combinations of things that makes it really easy to eat quote unquote normal but still stay on track for low carb and some of our favorite crock pot recipes that we make over and over again one of them is crock pot scrambled eggs I make this all the time I make it for us to have scrambled eggs I also use those scrambled eggs to make us some low carb breakfast burritos and I'm actually getting ready to do that all over again we're getting ready to travel again um, move the RV and so I'm gonna make up a big batch for everybody so we can have an easy on-the-go breakfast using our crock pot scrambled eggs another really delicious and kind of unique um, dish is our crock pot Italian egg casserole this one has enough of a savory flavor to it that I would say it probably could easily be used for brunch or it could even be used for those nights that you might want to do breakfast for dinner. So it has um, a tomato base in it that gives it a little bit more of a more than breakfast flavor. And we really, really like it. Um, speaking of those egg casseroles, another super easy one that everybody loves is our crock pot bacon egg and cheese casserole. It's kind of like all those favorite foods that you like to have for breakfast already baked up in a casserole and you can just slice it up and serve it up and so that's what we do and it's low carb along those same lines we have another um, egg based casserole that is our crock pot ham tomato egg casserole and this one has yummy cream cheese melted throughout it and it just gives it a really um, unique flavor and it doesn't it doesn't taste like your traditional egg casseroles so it has a little bit it, it's a way to kind of switch things up when you've got some leftover ham or you can just buy some ham to um, make with it so now let's shift to some main dishes now that we've got breakfast covered I'm sorry we're in a campground so if you hear things outside there's construction going on there's puppies outside so um, if you hear that that's what's going on one of our all-time favorite recipes on the website which is also low carb is our crock pot pepper jack chicken it is a one pot meal it's cheesy it has veggies in it and it is so flavorful everyone always tells us that they love it and it's low carb Another really easy low carb dish that we make is our low carb bacon cheeseburger casserole. It's one of those things that you can kind of just throw it all in the crock pot. It cooks up, it's great. You can eat it the way it is. If you have guests and they really want it, you could serve it on buns for them. Um, or if you wanted to, you could wrap yours up in a low carb tortilla. Another easy dish, super, super easy, very few ingredients, is our crock pot buttered pork steaks. Super simple, toss it in, let it cook until it becomes fall apart tender, everybody loves it. Another along the same lines is our crock pot garlic chicken, and we've made this with thighs, with bone, bone in thighs, and um, bone in, uh, well, of course, drumstick legs. <laughs> I don't think people usually serve that uh, boneless. But anyhow, you could make this same dish, and I think people have told us that they've made it with um, chicken breast. We just really like the flavor of all the spices in this dish the, um, with uh, the flavoring with the skin on. So 
that's one to give a try as well. And then for those of you who think you have to give up meatloaf, we have a crock pot meatloaf parmesan that um, uses some non-traditional um, ingredients. So you're not going to be using your crackers and your um, uh, or your breadcrumbs to to make it hold together. Instead, we're going to use some Parmesan cheese to kind of do that, and it makes for a yummy um, crock pot meatloaf Parmesan. And that's that. That's what we call it. Some of our uh, some of our longtime readers and viewers, I think, call this pizza, which is their version of meat pizza. It kind of has a pizza flavor to it. Um, Another yummy one pot kind of comfort food dish that a lot of people love is our crock pot ham and cabbage. It all goes in one pot, cooks up all day, and it is so yummy. Um, it's buttery, it has um, chunks of ham in it, and it definitely hits the spot. Um, so then shifting over, let's say you've got your main dish covered. Maybe you've thrown some chicken or steak on the grill and you just would like some low carb sides to go with it. That's one of the things that I probably struggled with the most when I first started low carb cooking is what do we serve with it? Like I know I can do most of the meats and those kinds of things but what do I serve with it? And so here's some of the things that we toss in the crock pot to kind of um, make that happen. We have of course, we love cabbage around here, we have our crock pot buttered cabbage. Super easy. I actually had it for lunch um, today. Uh, another great veggie to do would be squash and we have this super savory tasting crock pot squash au gratin so it's kind of like a take off of cheesy potatoes if you think about that and so we're not using potatoes we're using squash instead and it has a, a delicious flavor to it um, back to the cabbage um, one of the things that you guys have heard us talk a lot about here recently is our crock pot um, cabbage, green beans, and tomatoes. So we're taking different vegetables that are t that you can typically serve low carb depending on what products you use and we're kind of mixing them together to build whole new flavors. And this one has a really good basil, oregano, and garlic flavor to it thanks to those diced tomatoes and um, it just gives it a whole new spin. So now let's shift gears and let's say let's talk about some low carb soups. So we've kind of shifted away from um, you know, our mains, our breakfast, our sides, so now let's talk about soup. What if you just want soup for dinner? One of the um, soups that we hear readers tell us all the time that they love and is a personal favorite of ours is our crock pot pork chili verde. We absolutely love it. It has tender chunks of pork in it. Um, it's got a very, very nice and savory broth to it, and then a lot of times we like to serve it with avocado and lime squeezed on top, maybe a little bit of sour cream. It definitely is one of those dishes that you, you would never label as diet food. And we have a chicken version of that too, if you're interested. And a lot of these dishes we also have electric pressure cooker versions of. You just have to look for on the site. One of our soups low carb soups that is super popular both with low carbers and especially their kiddos is our low carb crock pot pizza soup. It's creamy, it's got all your favorite pizza flavorings in it and everybody loves it. Absolutely. Another one that you'll oftentimes hear low carb folks talk about and we definitely have one on um, our site is a low carb Zupa Toscana soup. So this is a play off of the sausage kale soup that you oftentimes find at Olive Gardens. They serve theirs with potatoes. We switch out cauliflower for ours. I've actually had readers tell me that they also like to switch out radishes, which I've done before, but I don't have up on the website as a potato substitute. And it is so savory and so yummy and so satisfying. You don't miss the potatoes. It's not it, it actually it has the same flavor as um, the Zupa Toscana that you're used to. So it's one of those really easy kind of switches that makes it enjoying an old favorite. Another soup that we love on the site um, at home and everywhere is our um, low carb crock pot bacon cheeseburger soup. We absolutely love this. It uses pickle juice in it to kind of give that dill flavor that you love with a good bacon cheeseburger and it just takes it totally to the next level. 
And then our last soup on this list has been a popular soup for a really long time. We just recently put it on as a low carb soup and that is our crock pot cheesy cauliflower soup. So a long time ago we did a loaded cauliflower soup and a lot of our readers caught on to that there were some real easy switches to make in it and to turn it into a low carb soup. And so they were doing that on their own and telling us about it. So we finally did it ourselves and we totally agree. It's so yummy. It's so, um, it's kind of like a play off of broccoli cheese soup, um, except you're using cauliflower. You could definitely use broccoli instead if that's what you chose to do. Um, but those are just some of the soups also that we like. So are there other low carb recipes on the website that you would recommend to beginners? Some of your go-tos? Um, these are just a handful that we know are super easy to throw together. They don't call for a lot of unusual ingredients or ingredients that you wouldn't already have as you're first starting out. Um, so if you have something out there that you think other low carb folks would enjoy when they're first starting out um, using their crock pot, um, I'd love for you guys to share that down below. And then also, if you would like me to maybe do a follow up of this at some point, I could talk through some of the desserts that we do. I just didn't want that to be in our beginners video because when you start doing sweet things start to have to use different sweeteners and sometimes you have to use some different ingredients than what maybe beginners have first out of the kitchen so we can definitely do that if that's something that you're interested in but if you like this video we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up if you're not already a member of the crock posse we'd love for you to click subscribe down below and become a member of our slow cooking family around here um, if you'd like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding-a-ling. That is the notification button down below. And then YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.